guys. Okay, so today I'm going to do a really requested video. This is how I organize my school bag for school and then also just a couple things I keep on my desk to keep myself motivated and interested in my classes. As you guys know, I am a senior in college. This is my last semester that I'm going to be in undergrad. Um, I graduate in May with my bachelor's degree and then I might go to grad school. I'm still considering law school for those of you that like have followed me forever, but I'm going to take a year off, I think, and because I have like other things that I can do with my life right now, but that's still the plan. Anyway, so this is the last semester that I really get to do this, which is sad because school supplies are like one of my happy things. They make me very excited. I love shopping for school supplies. And you'll see, I bought some things that are like completely useless, but I just go crazy when I'm at Office Depot. So that's my cat back there. That's Bear, and he is inside the Office Depot bag, fast asleep. Um, he crawled in there when I was getting ready for this video and I was like, you're so cute! You can stay in there as long as you don't suffocate yourself because that would be bad. I use a Longchamp tote bag. This is the red and I believe it's the size large. And um, I use a tote because they're more stylish than backpacks. That's the only reason. Um, they're not as safe for your back. They don't distribute the weight easily or evenly and they can get really heavy on one shoulder. But I use them anyway. I don't use. I haven't used a backpack since being in college. I used to use one in high school. It was cute. It was hot pink Jan Sport, and it like went across my shoulder. But yeah. Anyway, okay. So I'm just gonna show you what I have in here because I packed it all for the first day of class. And yeah. Okay. So the first thing I have is this little notebook. I got this at Office Depot for $3.99, which I thought was a really good deal. And it's the Burberry pattern, which I like just because it kind of matches my bag because it has the red, and I just think it's cute. So what I use this for, this is a lined notebook, but it's little, so I don't take class notes in this. I use this as my to-do list book. I make a to-do list every single day because most of the time I have a lot of things to get done in a day. You know, I'll have several classes to go to, and I'll need to make a video, and I'll need to work out, and I'll need to go to the grocery store, and I, you know, before you know it, and like sorority meetings, stuff like that, and if I don't keep it organized, I, it's not good. So I used to do that in my planner. I had like a section where I would do my to-do list, but it just got too crowded with, I started to m miss things because it just was too crowded. So I got my own little to-do list book, and I think this is really cute. What I recommend doing, this is really silly, but when I do my to-do list every day, I always start it with something I've already completed for the day. So like if I'm doing it in the morning after I've eaten breakfast, the first thing I write is eat breakfast, and then I can check something off and I feel like I've already done something for the day which feels good, even if it's silly. Okay, next thing is an umbrella, because you never know when you're going to get stuck in rain. This is from Walmart. It was a couple bucks. It was the cheapest one, and I've gone through a couple of these because they're really cheap and they keep breaking on me. Next thing is hand sanitizer. Um, I go through hand sanitizer like crazy because, especially with this season being swine flu season and stuff, I made sure to do this after every class, which probably defeated the purpose because I think if you use it too much you can be like you can like make your body not be able to protect itself against germs or something but I use it anyway I love it so yeah this is just like the 99 cent one at Walgreens or something okay so for each class I'm taking four classes next semester well I'm taking five but one's like a stage makeup class so it's an elective so I'm not I don't have like a notebook prepared for it or anything but for my academic classes the ones where I know I'm gonna have a lot of handouts and notes and stuff like that I like to get a binder um, this one is from Office Depot and I like it because it has like this little like stitching pattern at the bottom which I think is just like cute I like to look for little details it's chocolate brown on the inside I have some notebook paper and has a pocket so you can put like your handouts in there and then I put my name on it down in Glitzy Glam. Um, we don't actually sell this where you can buy it but we're thinking about putting it on there if there's like a, um, a demand for it. That's what I'm looking for, that word. But um, we might be able to sell it where you can just buy like your name and then you can tack it on anything you want. I mean I put it on a notebook, you can put it on anything. So yeah, car tags, mirrors, I don't know. But yeah, so that says L, and I think this one's pretty. And then I also have, I have a couple at school, so I didn't buy like one for every class, but I thought this one was pretty too. And it's the same kind of colors, green, chocolate brown, and pink, and doesn't have a pocket, which is kind of annoying, but it has a notebook paper. And what I do with these is I try to have one for each of my like academic classes, 
but sometimes if you have too many in one day it's too much to handle like too much to carry so sometimes I'll double one up and have it for two classes that have like something to do with each other like if I'm taking two English classes I'll have both of them in one folder but I'll like make sure to keep it separate with the divider but then my like favorite thing and the thing that I probably use the most are folders um I have a folder for every single class and this one's just pink and it has pockets, you know, on both sides of the inside. And then these two are Lily Pulitzer. They're from Glitzy Glam. They come in packs of four. I have one for every class and one reason why these are good is because they're very light. So it's not going to take up a lot of room in your bag and it's not going to be very heavy, but they can keep you organized for all your classes. All of my papers that have been returned, exams that have been returned go on one side of the folder. And then the other side is things that I have yet to turn in. And then things like syllabuses and instructions for future assignments, those go in the notebooks. Okay, so the next thing, I try to have one for every class, especially if I don't have a three-ring binder for the class, I make sure to have one of these. These are just like your standard notebooks. Um, this one's Lily Pulitzer again. And let's see, let's open it. This one actually has a folder, which is really nice. But these are just, you know, notebooks. And actually, guys... I find that I use notebooks a whole lot more than I use three ring binders because between this and a folder, you don't need a three ring binder because you can put all of your like handouts in this and all of your notes in this and it keeps everything really nice and organized. You don't lose pages. I just prefer this. Um, but some teachers actually like require the three ring notebook. Like I know my French classes always required a three ring notebook. So I always have a couple just in case there are classes where the teachers, you know, prefer that. Here's another notebook I got from Office Depot. This one's cute. I just like little cute designs. Okay, then these are my favorite pens. Um, these are the RSVP Pintel Colors Medium, the medium point ones. I don't like the fine point ones. And this is the assorted colors. I go through these like crazy. I don't know what I do with them. I just lose them because I like to have my notes in fun colors because it makes it easier for me to study if it's like in hot pink or purple. Black makes me like not want to stare at it. I know that's silly, but I've learned to take my notes in pink and green and purple and not red or black. So those are my favorite. And then last thing in this bag is, oh, pencils obviously, but I didn't buy pencils because I have like a ton at school. But then I got this box of highlighters and it comes with two of every color. Looks like this on the inside. It wasn't very expensive. I think it was just a couple bucks, but I use highlighters like a mad woman. When I am, okay, I take my notes during class with my colored pens, and then I'll find, this is so silly, but I'll find like a color that goes with it. Like if I take my notes in pink, I'll use green, and I'll go through and I'll highlight all of the things that I think were really important from the class. And that way when I'm studying for my exam, I already have all the important things highlighted and I it makes it a lot easier to study oh and also I highlight in my books my textbooks because in college you're allowed to do that because you just resell it back to the bookstore I highlight in my books like crazy and I have like different colors so like you know I'll do vocabulary words in one color and then um, important dates in one color things like that just whatever your class calls for another good organizational tip is to get one of these this is from Office Depot, and it's one of those like accordion file holder type things. Um, I thought that was cute. It matches my notebook. But it looks like this. It has all these pockets. And what I'll do is I'll write on each one what class it's for. And then when you go home at the end of the day, or if you're not that organized, maybe once a month, you can go through your bag and put all of those handouts and papers that have been returned that are just piling up and causing weight in your bag. You can file them away and that way they're easy to find when you need them later on in the semester and you, they don't get lost in your desk or um, I find that without this I just lose things like I swear my carpet just eats my papers like it drops and then it's gone it's the most bizarre thing I have no idea I have no idea okay so then I got a couple things for my desk now I have there are like kids running around out there okay so I got some things for my desk I have a lot of these things, like I have a lot of things already at home, like paper clips and stuff like that, so I didn't repurchase them. Can you hear that? But I got some cute um, post-its. These are flower shaped and they have like little like squiggly design. 
they're cute it comes in two colors pink and yellow and I put post-its everywhere I will stick them on my wall I will stick them inside my textbooks I'll stick them inside my agenda my to-do list like they are they are everywhere I'll write my um I have four well I have three roommates there's four of us total but I share a bathroom with one of them I'll write her notes and like put it on the bathroom when, uh, mirror stuff like that I just find these really useful for like silly things Okay, so then another, this video is getting so long. Another thing I really like are these little um, tabs, sticky on one end. And what I use these for is I will, um, when I'm studying for an exam and I'm going through my textbook, I'll put these little arrows on pages that I need to go back and read over again, like pages with important things that maybe I feel like I need to look over one more time before the exam. And they're little arrows, which is why I like these, because there's like a gazillion different types of these you can buy. But I like these because they're little arrows. Isn't that cute? It's like pointing. It's like, read me. If it wasn't an arrow, what if you lost your direction? What if you saw the tab and you were like, oh, oh, and you like wandered away from your book because you were going to find like what it was pointing at? So it needs to point inside to the book. So that's what it does. The little pointer. You can write on it too, but I really don't. I just stick it in there and then reread it. So then, okay, these are like a little silly. Um, <laughs> I got these kind of as a joke, but then my mom thought they were like really cute. So then I ended up buying them because I put them in the cart as a joke. But these are for when you have arrows on a bunch of pages, but there's like one section you really need to relook at. These are little clips and they say, and this is like the OMG, IDK, what this means. I need to put a clip on it. A C-R-A-P clip. So that's what it's for. And they come in all different colors. I mean, they're kind of silly. I know this is like not G-rated, but this is like, this is like reread me arrow. And this is like, if you don't reread this, you're going to fail your exam. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. There's one more thing I got that's completely silly. And I don't know why I bought this. I should not be allowed loose inside an office depot, but I got glitter pins in 16 colors. Is that weird? Yeah, 16 colors of glitter glue, glitter glue pens. I don't know what I'm going to use these for. Like, I read on the back to see if it, like, told me what I could use them for. But all it says is compact size is great on the go, acid free. And I was, like, sold. I am buying those glitter glue pens. So now I have glitter glue in 16 colors. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. But all that glitter is 21 needs glitter glue pens. Duh. Oh, okay, one more thing. My agenda. I don't have it here because I actually buy the agenda that is available through my school. And I left it, the one for this school year, at home when I came home for the summer, or for the holidays. Um, but it's just an agenda, you know, like it has the days of the month, and then it has like a page for each day. And Bubblegum Princess just texted me and said she is still in labor, if anyone's wondering. YouTube, a little bit of YouTube um, info. Anyway. So, yeah, so I don't have that, but I highly recommend an agenda. I think I would die without mine. I have, like, my entire life is inside my agenda. And I keep all my things organized with different color pens. So, like, all of my academic things will be in one color. All of my social things, like my sorority meetings, will be in one color. All of um, my work things will be in one color. And I just keep it organized like that. I would die without my agenda. Um, well, I wouldn't really die, but, like, I would feel like I was very lost and confused in the world. I think that's it. If you guys have any questions about um, anything, you can write them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you, especially like the first day I put this up because I tend to moderate them a lot more the first day. Um, also, I'm not at my school right now. I'm not at my, at my own house, so I don't have like my desk to show you how I organize any of that. So I might do that in a later video, but this was basically just like my school bag stuff. So without further ado, since this video is so long, I will see you guys later, and I hope this was helpful. So.